Hey, so it's the beginning of a new vlog, but um, I will be honest, it's the end of the day. Uh, <laughs> but I am on my way to a comedy show uh, right now in Huntington Beach, California, which uh, if you Google Huntington Beach, you can uh, get a grip for the type of people who are there. And um, I'm, I'm going to go do some stand-up. I'm going to go tell some jokes. And I rolled my ankle really badly today playing basketball and I'm having a hard time putting on shoes but the show must go on so I'm getting dressed um tying my shoes and uh I think the next piece of footage you see will probably be me on stage because I ain't really got nothing else to show you in between now and then so I'll see you at the show <sighs> JD Witherspoon oh. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Oh. Oh, thank you so much, Rec Room. How y'all doing? Y'all good? Oh, stand-up comedy. Oh, how it takes so many lives. Oh. Like, nigga, where are we right now? We are, I'm performing in an adult Chuck E. Cheese. Where am I? <laughs> Is that where I'm at right now? I ain't never been here. I didn't, I didn't know Huntington Beach got it like this. Y'all got money. Y'all got money. Y'all got some money. Okay. Damn. We are the Groupon of entertainment, baby. <laughs> we will do this shit anywhere. <laughs> it's between me or do you want to play Hungry Hungry Hippos? Like, <laughs> are you two together? Like a couple? No. What are, what are you two? Friends? That's nice. How long, how long has this friendship gone on? Like 10 years. 10 years? How did y'all meet? High school. High school? Yeah. Weed? In high school? Okay. And it was always, it was just like a nice platonic, just like, oh man, shout out to you for giving me weed. Shout out to you. We both got, <laughs> we got glasses on, you know, that's, and that, that was it? Mutual friends. Mutual yep. friends. Who was, the, who was the one in the middle? You had a friend in class who was like the dealer? <laughs> Something like that. Something like that? Okay. I'll, I'll say that that's possibly option one. Option two, this nigga's in the long haul. Like, <laughs> he's like, hey, bro, since high school, dog, we gonna get there. We gonna... Have you seen Love is Blind? I'm about to get this pussy. I promise you. I promise you I'm gonna get this pussy. And I'm going to leave her at the altar, my nigga. I'm going to do that. <laughs> I'm going to get that pussy and then be like, I'm a baby. Oh, I can't do this. What else is going on in the world? Oh, man, Goku died. Oh, my God. That was today. That was last 24 hours. Y'all yeah. know, know Goku? Y'all motherfuckers definitely know Goku. <laughs> Y'all, okay, sorry, the creator of Dragon Ball Z, Akira Toriyama, passed away. Hey, hey. Do that date night shit when I'm done. Right. Y'all rude, man. Y'all know I can see you, right? Like, relax. <laughs> no, Akira Toriyama died, man. Do y'all, does there, anybody know anime in here? Or what? I, a few of you responded, and then some of y'all got silent. Don't act like you the cool motherfucker now. Stop. We all grew up as nerds, and we hid that shit from other people so we wouldn't get uh, teased. But nah, man, Goku fucking died, man. The dude who created it is so sad. It makes me sad. The dude, the dude who was on earlier, Lil Wayne, um, he was... <laughs> yeah, I knew that, baby. That dude, he was good. I liked his shit. It was very funny. He told us in the back of the green room that, uh, that uh, the cartels in Mexico actually held a ceasefire today. Because motherfucking Goku died. And he was explaining it. I feel like I'm stealing a bit, but I'm not. He just kind of explained some information to me. He said that, you know, if you know Dragon Ball Z... You know, obviously it's a Japanese entity. It was made in Japan. But when it was dubbed in its first language, its first language was Spanish. So I guess people in Mexico and, and Spanish-speaking countries feel like they have like a very personal connection to Goku. You know? Um, I don't speak Spanish, so I can't say nothing funny in Spanish. Sorry. <laughs> goku sign. Like, I don't know. <laughs> That's my bro, dog. Like, hey, you know. I gotta ask my I gotta ask my my Hispanic friends. I'll be like, hey bro, hey, how how close are you with Goku, my nigga? <laughs> how close are you with uh, the God, the Goku? <laughs> That's tight, man. I mean, 
That's, that's cool, that's great. I grew up as a nerd, anime, love that shit. My wife be uh, forcing herself to watch it when I'm sitting around watching it at night. And I told her, I was like, you don't have to do this. <laughs> like, I'm like, we didn't do Love is Blind, you don't have to fake this shit. You can, <laughs> honey, you can go in the other room, do whatever you want to do. She's like, no, I wanna, I wanna learn, I wanna learn. I'm like, no you don't. <laughs> you don't wanna learn. She be, she be uh, making fun of my fucking anime when she don't like it. She be like, she be like, what you watching? Uh, My Hero Wackademia. I'm like, bitch, <laughs> hey, hey, they did nothing to you. <laughs> Leave them out of this. You know that most people take their last jump at 30 years old? Did you know that? Yeah, so if you're past that, you probably missed the window, motherfucker. All right. <laughs> you say you're still jumping? Skydiving. You're skydiving? That doesn't require jumping. All right, there it is. Motherfucker, you just be falling out of planes. <laughs> See you guys later. Adrenaline. <laughs> But no, you know, you know, like LeBron James. You, I, this Huntington Beach. You're not, you're not that uh, anti-black people. You know LeBron James. <laughs> you're aware of hoops, right? I'm just now thinking about all the wild shit that happened in Huntington Beach. Now over, <laughs> y'all a wild city, boy. They take that fucking mask off, bro. Y'all remember that shit? They were beating people's. Oh, y'all got real quiet. Uh oh. <laughs> Jeez, there's not even a lot of white people left in this room. They still, right? they like, yeah, keep that mask off, big dog. <laughs> <laughs> Share these germs, motherfucker. I, I, I. <laughs> they don't believe in the virus. Um, okay. Hey, 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 quit chirping in the back. Come on now. Res respect the crap. Respect the crap. I don't come to your job and just be hee hee and shit, all right? Watch, watch you fucking doing your goddamn Excel sheet. Like, look, look at this bitch. This bitch don't know. They don't know shit about Excel. I'm telling y'all, bro, we the, we the group on the entertainment. Y'all don't even respect it. <laughs> Fuck all of y'all, man. And some of y'all, rude enough to think you could do this shit. That's the crazy part. Some of y'all like, I'm funny. I could do that. Not y'all particularly, but people do that. They do that about stand-up comedy. I'm like, bring your dumb ass up here, man. All right, come on, come on. Hey, get quiet now. All right, look. Anyone, anyone a fruit consumer in here like that? Huh? I'm in HP, bro. I hate fruit. Wait, what'd you say? <laughs> How often do you eat fruit? Uh, once a day. What kind of fruit? I eat orange, banana, apple. <laughs> <laughs> you know, they did, they did seat y'all like this was a special ed class. So, you know, <laughs> this motherfucker said, I eat orange. <laughs> Singular. I eat orange, banana, apple, grape. <laughs> He didn't put no S's behind any of them bitches. He was like, that's funny, man. That's crazy. You should do comedy. Um, <laughs> shave it. He should shave it. He should shave it. I'm not LeBron. You don't have to shout that at me. Um, shave it. Shave. He should shave it. Shave it. Hey, he should sh shave it. Shave it. Hey, yo. Hey, yo. Hey. Hey, yo. Shave, tell him to shave it. I don't know LeBron James, motherfucker. What is happening? What is happening? Shout out to them bringing me up. Shout out to them having me here. Shout out to all y'all for being here. I had a great time, but I was gonna say, thank you, thank you. Thank you, this has been, this has been very enjoyable. I like this little, tiny little crowd, this is nice. Y'all are, y'all, y'all are, you know, y'all, y'all, y'all humble me. <laughs> y'all, y'all remind me that this shit could be over in a second. Um, <laughs> they gonna kill himself tonight. Um, no, no. No, no, I could really fuck your credit up. <laughs> That's my time, y'all been great. Thank you so much, it's fun time, fun time. Give it up for your host, give it up for all the comics you saw. Fun time, give it up for yourselves, thank you. All right, so I just finished performing. I don't have any extra footage of really anything else that happened. I guess I'm just, I'm just doing recaps on my own comedy. <laughs> Man, that was a good, that was, it was a, a, a small crowd, very small. Like there was probably maybe 15 people in there, but they were mighty and they gave me some big laughs and I enjoyed every second of it. And I, for sure, you know, I wouldn't even say I went off script with crowd work. I just started riffing, especially in the beginning about Love is Blind and the, I did a few jokes that were mine. I, I, <laughs> I did a few things, but uh, man, if, if I have any footage of the place that I performed at, it uh it has like a huge uh whatever you want to call it it has um 
like a huge arcade inside. There's laser tag inside. And I talked about how stand-up comedy is one of the the most disrespected art forms because we have to we have to compete with laser tag. <laughs> Man, that was funny. I had a good set, though. I enjoyed it. And I didn't realize how long I went, bro. I did 40 minutes. And I think they were only supposed to give me 25. So thanks. Shout out to them for letting me go long. But, uh, you know, that's good for me because it helps me work on my material and get to a place where I'm comfortable doing long sets. And um, I, I I had a good time all the way through and through. I, I think, like, I had I had a segment where I just started rambling about Love is Blind because that show is so popular. And then I also just uh, focused on, oh no, you know what? I did the Love is Blind thing and then I actually, I did go into my own material, which was uh, which was me talking about like uh, roll, rolling my ankle and talking about how it is to have like a uh, high level injury. If you wanna see the full uh, set, you can pull up uh, the boys Patreon, patreon.com, JD Witherspoon. Hopefully uh, social media doesn't flag this video because I brought it up because you'll mention something else and they'll be like hey what you doing you trying to take somebody some, somewhere else so but i like that set bro that was fun that was that was fun all the way through i think i had a good time and the crowd like they were a tiny crowd but bro they were when i when i was when i was giving it to them they were they were giving it back and i think that's what it's all about um definitely a different energy of 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 like the last time i showed y'all a video because like i mentioned there there's a thing there, there's a very there's a nuance to performing in a comedy club compared to performing at just like a random spot. No disrespect to the place I performed at before this, but you know I, that was like a hookah lounge that I performed in compared to performing in a comedy club in a comedy setting where people are ready to watch stand up comedy. Even if it, if the crowd is small, if you if you know that you can get them with some funny laughs, like you can you can get them and we can start talking. Even me talking about Love is Blind, I was just, I'm just riffing on something that was going on in my personal life. I'm like, bruh, I am watching this show and I can't be the only one who thinks that it's, this show is crazy. Uh, all right, cool. Well, I hope you all enjoyed this vlog. I'm going to turn this light off in the car because I'm not trying to get pulled over uh, because it's all bright. And uh, yeah, man, uh, we'll, we'll keep doing this as often as I can. And shout out to anybody or everybody who's watching on social media. I appreciate you and come to a show, goddammit. <laughs> I'm yo, I got a show. I got a show in April in San Diego and we trying to sell them goddamn tickets. I'm about to I'm about to be I'm about to be uh marketing the hell out of myself. Come through to the show. Hopefully I got the flyer on screen or the date or whatever. It should be a good ass time. All right. We're gonna do it again, baby. All right. That's it. I'm done. Peace.